Hello, this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com and in this video I'm going to share with you my Evernote setup and share with you really how I use Evernote, the most powerful way that I use Evernote and really the goal I have behind this video is, is if it gives you maybe an idea on how you can capture your notes, it's completely... Um, it's completely the, the objective of this video is simply just to share what I do. If it then means that it gives you an idea or a trigger or something and you think, oh, this is great, then of course I want to promote that for you as well. So this is my Evernote setup. It is sort of replicated from my Todoist setup. And to tell you the truth, when it comes to note taking, I am a bit of a, um, uh, I don't take, as many notes um, as maybe I should, I don't know. I try to capture as much as I possibly can. As I shared with you on my phone, I try to capture if there's any notes that I need. I look, I use Evernote a lot for my, my monthly goals planning. I use Evernote a lot for my planning of videos and different content I'm creating, different projects that I'm working on. That's where I really get Evernote from. I don't really capture sort of day-to-day -day notes like, oh, I better write that down in a note because if it's something that I need to remember or do or or uh, action, that's usually my to-do list. When it comes to Evernote, it's great to plan. It's great to really go through the mindset on what's the experience, what's that that urgency. That's what I do Evernote for, and I'm going to show that in this video today. So um, this is my Evernote. So you can see this the same setup as my Todoist. If you've not seen that, please do check it out. Uh, from my ultimate visions to um, my yearly goals, I share. So for example, I've got my 2018 goals in there, um, which I do use in my split screens desktops, which I'm going to get to in a second. But I have a lot of in here from my own personal development, um, the Life Success Engineer brand. When I think about the different videos that I want to create and I need to do some planning, really to share with you guys, uh, I plan um, as much as I possibly can what is the outcome behind the video that I want to share with you. Um, my personal development, so I've got my book notes and things in here, I've got my coaching, I've got my mastermind um, notes that I take in there. There's a couple of templates that I just quickly want to share with you as well. Now, in terms of templates, I don't, I start, I was using templates, but now really um, I don't do it as much uh, in my life um, in terms of these templates, but for example, um, the five minute journal, uh, there is in the IFTTT, um, software, you can, um, create these templates where it will put a note in. So this is the five minute journal, the things I'm grateful for. Um, I, I was going to do that, but then I sort of, I came away from that, um, because I started to use my own template, I started to do my own journaling in the mornings. But I do recommend that you check out the IF Triple T, uh, which I'm going to share with you in the next in the next video anyway about what you could use and how it integrates with everything. Because I think it is very very powerful, and especially if you are a note taker and you want to have an automatic template in Evernote come to you each and every morning or a weekly review or whatever it is. There's some great applications in there, but. That's really in terms of my Evernote setup, in terms of the overview. Let me share with you the, the main reason, the biggest thing that I use this Evernote for, because it is it is 100% um, why I use Evernote. It is actually the reason why I use it, um, because it's been a game changer for me. So let me just share with you my, my split screens. Okay, so this is probably the most powerful thing that I use Evernote for, and that is my productivity in terms of um, my uh, goal setting, the things I'm working on throughout the year. And this really plays hand in hand with Fantastical, especially if I need to schedule anything. But um, on the left hand side here, you can see it's just a half, it's just two separate notes, really. And this is my 2018 goals and challenges. This is what I use for my monthly goals reports. Um, uh, I've got my own blog post. I've got a whole section on my blog just specifically for the progress that I'm making. But you can see here that I've, I just put different notes and all my goals and everything in here. So what is the theme, turning professional. Um, you can see there's my, my health and fitness goals. You can see I've got a couple of maybes in here. Just a few things that I'm looking into potentially. Other goal, like my goals all the way throughout. 
um, all the different areas of my life that I'm sort of working on. And what I use this for and what I really wanted to, to share with you uh, and hint at a little bit of this video, but then I want to I want to actually do the process for March 2018 with you is what I use is this side. So this is sort of the February, um, this is sort of the February uh, note that allows me to plan. Because if, it, if I, I, I believe I've got over 60 goals. Okay, so, and they're always adding. So for example, I'm, I'm looking at different traveling places and different activities and things. Always adding to this because this is just my notes. But um, each and every single month, I, I've gone through these and I'm thinking, when am I going to schedule this? When am I going to do that? Am I going to do it Q3? Am I going to do it Q4? Am I going to do it Q1? Um, what months am I going to do it? And then each and every month, I go through this process on, okay, this is what I want to do this month. I want to make progress here. So you can see, um, I put a little commitment checklist just as a reminder. Now I said, it, this is a way of thinking, but I wanted to go through this process with you because... Um, I do this naturally with all my goals that I have. I've gone, th I've been doing this for so long now. I'm always thinking result, purpose, leverage, massive action plan, scheduling. I'm always thinking like this, but um, I wanted to go through the process in written form for the first few, just so I can share them with you. So for example, when I was planning my February, I was thinking, right, I want to make some progress on Tough Mudder. So that is my result. Then I go through the, the purpose and urgency behind it, if, if there's any leverage. And then I could go through the, the massive action plan. I wanted to start CrossFit, which I have done. And once it's booked, I can then schedule and then it'll go on to my Fantastical. So that's pretty much what I do. I'm looking every single month. I'm looking, okay, have I made progress with this? Have I made progress with that? Have I made pro That's what my monthly goals reports are all about. I'm like, have I made progress on the things I've said that I want to do? And the next one is, for example, um, what we did was on the 23rd of February at 12 noon, we booked into chirotherapy. That achieved my goal, at least one chirotherapy session. Now, I've actually got another two to go to after this, so it's going to be uh, another scheduled uh, event. But you can see here, then I've, I've once I did it, I was like, great, I've achieved that. That's going to go in my monthly goals reports as now completed goal. Um, then we continued out. I was continuing all the way through, uh, and I pick out things that I want to do for February. Um, another goal was we, me and Kylie, were discussing yoga sessions together at the beginning of the year. Now we've had a bit of a conversation. Like you can see, the the purpose and urgency, the leverage, massive action plan, research. The first thing I wanted to do is discuss the importance with Kylie because time's gone on a little bit, and we've sort of gone. Do you know what? Do we really want to do yoga? together maybe we go to a crossfit session together i don't know we're going to do something we're, we're very committed to doing some form of exercise together some sort of activity together but you can see it's gone red um it, i sort of discussed this with kylie hence i didn't do all this research i didn't book anything i didn't start a class or anything like this but i put it down a massive action plan I, I thought actually i should just discuss this with kylie first and then we had a quick discussion we sort of thought do you know what we'll do something else so it's gone red which is no problem. And that's really the process that I've gone through each and every one of my goals. Uh, and I do that all the time. Um, and I'm going to go through this same process in the March um, month when I'm thinking about what are the goals I want to achieve for March. So I'll go through each and every one. And this is for each section, not just um, not just my, my health and fitness. This goes through every single section. And I pick out... What am I going to do? Look at my schedule. Have I got any holidays planned? Have I got any time slots planned away from here? Or um, So, for example, we, we travelled to Marzine, which took out a week of our um, our month of, of January stroke February, which meant that um, I was a little bit later doing, you can see here, I created this on the 4th of uh, February because we only got back from traveling on the 3rd of February so I was keen to get straight this done but um, this is how I've been using it I don't know whether it's giving you any ideas on how you could maybe use to do this maybe it's giving you some ideas on how you can ultimately be organized because that's what this is all about being organized and focused in on the specific things that are important this has certainly helped me massively um, it certainly helps me keep reminded on what I need to do what I 
what I don't need to do, what um, is not important for me. And things like, for example, I've, I've got another note where it's sort of my 2018 uh, goals and challenges like notes. That's where I did like more of my year plan. Um, maybe I should, for, for the next year, I should create a lot more in-depth yearly planning where that's basically, for example, let me give you a quick example, um, like the, the juice fast. So I'm not even going to deal with that until like sort of May, June time. It's completely out of my mind because it's in Q2. So I'm, I'm more focused in on Q1 right now. What are the seeds I want to plant in my life? So if I book Tough Mudder, if I do some challenges, if I start a CrossFit, if I create some services in my business, if I uh, employ more people in my business, that's what Q1's all about for me. Q2, Q3, Q4 is more um, really building up that momentum. But that's some organization tips. I hope it's been worthwhile. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I try to be open, honest, trans... As, well, I'm, I don't think I can be any more transparent than this, to be honest. But uh, that's the, the goal here is for me to be as transparent as I can with you. And hopefully, you will then go, wow, that was great. Maybe imp implement something in your life. And then if you are just like on fire, taking massive action, if you just like looking at your goals and you're planning it out and you're like, okay, I can... That's urgent for me. I'm gonna. That's got some real good purpose behind that. I'm gonna make it happen. And then in three weeks' time, a four weeks' time, you're just taking massive action and you're just ticking off all your goals. Well, that's the the whole purpose behind a video like this. That's the whole purpose behind my productivity week. So I hope that's been worthwhile. Give it a thumbs up again. Let me know in the comments down the description below. In the the comments below, just say great job. Um, massive action, hashtag massive action it, and uh, we'll take it from there. So um, this has been Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com. Keep taking massive action.